If Kepler telescope was a revolutionary test or transiting exoplanet survey satellite will take the next step in evolution of planet hunting when it is launched later today. TESS or Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite named scarcely does it justice when describing what this amazing piece of equipment will do for science, in particular exoplanet detection. As of late 2017, we have discovered 3,717 confirmed exoplanets in around 2,800 solar systems. Kepler telescope is, is responsible for discovery of 2,512 of these exoplanets, or majority, 67%. However, majority of these planets are so far away that determining the size, planetary composition, or if the planet is in habitable zone is at best educated guess. The Kepler telescope also looked at really small, narrow, fixed field of view in the sky, giving us very limited number of stars, estimated at 150,000, a limited number of Earth-like planets we could possibly detect. To say Kepler wasn't a success would be understatement. For the telescope discovered so many Earth-sized planets, it surprised many astronomers who assumed Earth-sized planets are rare or uncommon. TESS telescope has similar mission, however, the objectives are somewhat different. The telescope will survey 85% of our skies, looking at nearest 200,000 stars using transit method, all within 200 light years of Earth. It is expected within 100 light years or around 32 parsecs. Tests will discover anywhere between 3,800 and 8,000 Earth sized planets. If we consider there are at least 37,000 stars in this volume of space, TESS is expected to discover at least 20,000, if not 200,000 planets. In short 2 3 years, the telescope will survey the skies. The test project will use an array of wide field cameras to perform an all sky survey. With tests, it will be possible to study the mass, size, density, and orbit of Earth sized rocky planets, including a a sample of Earth-sized worlds in habitable zones of their host star. TESS will provide prime targets for further characterization by James Webb Sp Space Telescope, as well as other large ground-based and space-based telescopes. Previous sky surveys with ground-based telescopes have mainly detected Jupiter-sized gas giants. In contrast, TESS will examine a large number of small planets around the very brightest stars in the sky. TESS will record the nearest and brightest main sequence stars hosting transiting exoplanets, which are the most favorable targets for detailed investigation. TESS mission parameter is designed to carry out all sky transiting exoplanet survey. For that task, it is equipped with four wide angle telescopes and associated charge couple device. Each camera features a low noise, low power 16.8 megapixel CCD detector. Each has 24 by 24 degree field of view. Science data will be transmitted back to Earth every two weeks. TESS's two-year all-sky survey will focus on nearby G, K and M-type stars. Approximately 200,000 stars will be studied, including the 1,000 closest red dwarfs across the whole sky. The survey is broken up into 26 observation sectors, each sector being 24 by 96 degrees, with, no, with an overlap of, a, of sectors at the elliptical poles to allow for additional sensitivity to a smaller and longer period exoplanets in that region of the celestial sphere. The spacecraft will spend two 13.7 day orbits observing each sec, mapping the southern hemisphere of the sky in the first year of operation and then the northern hemisphere in the second year. Each of the test's cameras will take one minute exposure focused on specifically targeted stars as part of its transit surge and 30 minute full frame exposure to search for other transit events. TESS promises some hard-to-imagine science. 
it will take exoplanet science to a whole new level and the likelihood of discovery of Earth-sized and Earth-like planets in habitable zone are very promising. Just imagine discovering Earth-like planet similar in size in habitable zone with all indications it might be Earth 2.0. The profound discovery would change how we view universe around. However, only with completion of EELT or European Extremely Large Telescope in 2024 would we get more accurate picture of any Earth-like planet discovered by TESS. TESS will be launched by Falcon 9 full thrust rocket later on today. SpaceX has loads riding on it and who knows if we do discover Earth 2.0, Elon Musk might start looking into designing interstellar spaceships.